Praise the Lord. Welcome everybody to this first video and a series of videos that we'll be doing where we'll be going through apostolic succession, the unbroken line of popes starting from Peter all the way to the current pope we have now, Pope Francis. Now, what is apostolic succession? Some of you might be wondering. So apostolic succession is the passing on of church teaching, church authority, and church leadership from one pope from the next, going all the way back to the first pope, Peter. And it is truly remarkable how we can trace every single pope back to Peter. So who was Peter? So before Peter was named Peter, he was named Simon. And he, along with his brother Andrew, were both fishermen. And they both were the first two to be called by Jesus to begin public ministry with him. Now, in Matthew 16, Peter receives his first high call from the Lord to become the first pope. We read, And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Now, there is a lot to unpack here. So, firstly, Peter's name is changed from Simon to Peter. In the Bible, a name change is very significant because it denotes a change in that person's mission. For instance, Abram becomes Abraham, Saul becomes Paul, Jacob becomes Israel, Simon becomes Peter. His new mission is now placed upon him. He is going to lead the church now while Jesus is away. So secondly, Jesus tells Peter that he's going to give him the keys to the kingdom and whatever he binds on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever is loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Now, while this may sound interesting, this actually has a precedence in the Old Testament. Um, the way Old Testament kingdoms worked was that whoever was second in command would hold the keys to the kingdom. And we see this very clearly in Isaiah chapter 22, where Eliakim, who was second in command to King Hezekiah, is given the keys to the kingdom. We read... I will place the key of the house of David on his shoulder. What he opens, no one will shut. What he shuts, no one will open. What's remarkable is the parallel between the Old Testament and the New Testament language there. So Peter would go on to lead the early Christian community after Jesus' death and resurrection and ascension. And he would continue to spread the gospel throughout the Middle East uh, finally ending up in Rome and unfortunately being martyred in 64 AD via crucifixion. But before dying, he requested his captors to crucify him upside down because he said that he felt he was unworthy enough to die in the same manner as Jesus. So St. Peter, we ask that you Intercede for us and pray for us that we may be spiritual rocks to our own families and to our own communities. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, please share it with other people. And we hope that you join us for our next video where we'll be covering the second Pope, Pope Linus. Thank you again and God bless you.